Hey everyone, Kimo here, and today I'm going to show you how to make mini shoji lanterns using craft sticks that you can find at the Dollar Tree. Today's project is a really simple DIY that can help you to create some ambiance in your room, give a little light on your desk, or you can even create a customized centerpiece for your next event or party. But before we go any further, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to get notified of our latest and greatest videos that we publish every Sunday, and I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in a comment below what you liked most about this project, and also if you'd like to see more Asian-inspired DIY projects in the future. And without further ado, let's get going. So I'm going to cut off the ends of these craft sticks using just a pair of scissors. I find that that works best and I've tried a few different things including a kitchen knife, an exacto knife, a utility knife, and that just seems to work best. Now we need four different sides to create our lantern. And so I'm mocking one up right now, but you can see that right there where I'm pointing, we have an opportunity to connect those pieces, which I'm going to do by slicing up a smaller portion of our craft stick and then again cutting that in half and then adhering it to the sides. I'm using a cardboard box to create a straight edge for my two craft sticks which we're going to connect together with a little bit of hot glue and our half piece of our craft stick. Now you'll notice that I'm putting that half piece a little to the side to create some space there which will be helpful as we connect these panels together. Now we need to glue a craft stick to the top of the lantern and also to the bottom, which we'll do using a little bit of hot glue. Remember again to leave some space on the outside edge of your craft sticks to ensure that you can connect all the panels together. Because we're able to connect these craft sticks in this way, this creates a slightly larger lantern which will stand about 10 inches in height. Again, as you glue down that craft stick, make sure that there is some space on the outside edge. But holy crap, you guys, I made a mistake. On one of the sides, I had put that half piece on the outside edge where it should have been on the inside edge. So I had to take it off, turn it around, and re-glue that piece using some hot glue. Crisis averted. Now we have four frames ready to go. And the next step is to create a template, tracing the inside of our frame and then adding about a half an inch or so around the edges. And I found this beautiful tissue paper at the Dollar Tree. It's a really fun pattern with some color and lots of robots. Using the template that we created, we're now tracing out four shoji screens that will go onto each of our four frames. Now we're going to put our tissue paper or shoji screen onto each of the frames. Make sure that you have the frame and the tissue paper facing the right way. Add a little bit of hot glue at the top. And once you secure the tissue paper to the top portion of the frame, you'll glue down the rest of the tissue paper, ensuring that all four sides are secure. Now perhaps one of the trickiest parts of this project is to attach all of the frames. I'm putting a very thin bead of glue right on the outside edge of the panel and then attaching the other panel to it. We'll do this for all four sides.
you can really begin to see our mini Shoji Lantern come to life. I decided to add a little bit of reinforcement inside of our Shoji Lantern. So using these mini dowels also from the Dollar Tree, I'm adding a generous amount of hot glue and placing these dowels on each of the four inside corners in our lamp. I'm taking the lid off of my drink and this will be a mini candle holder for my flameless votive candle. I add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of that lid and glue it to our craft stick which will in turn then be glued to the bottom of our shoji lantern. And now, our final result. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for the latest and greatest videos that I publish every Sunday. And we'll see you around.